we get into today's video, I have an important message to tell you. Now just hear me out. If I told you right now, if I knew where a million dollars was, and how to get it for free without you doing anything. And I also told you that there was a million dollars for everybody in the country. You wouldn't gain or lose if you kept it a secret to yourself, just equal share. But if I told you that secret, how to get it for free, would you keep it a secret from everybody? Now the tax collectors and the sinners were all drawing near to him and the Pharisees and the scribes grumbling saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors saying to them, rejoice with me for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over the 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. That's Luke chapter 15 verses 1 through 7. So what's the importance of this really quickly? Um, I, I think it, it really plays true in this day and age. I mean, look at the world around you. The world is a mess right now. So there is a lot of people out there, unfortunately, brothers and sisters, that have not heard the word or are just not accepting it for whatever reason. And so my charge to you is just like I'm doing right now. We need to talk about the truth. All you have to do is reach out to our Lord and Savior above Jesus Christ. Put your faith in him. Trust him. You will be saved through his shed blood. We are saved. Let's not keep this a secret. Let's pass the word because I tell you the kingdom of heaven is going to be far richer than a million bucks. All right. On with the video. Let's have some fun. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install something cool. This is absolutely amazing. So in the last video, if you did not see it, we installed something really fancy, complete carbon fiber centered console. I want this car to be luxurious when I sit down. Yes, we have the power, we have the speed, we have everything, but sitting down inside of a bland Mustang is not fun for anybody. There's a new company that we're working with now. I would like to exclusively welcome the carbon core to the channel. Go to thecarboncore.com. Use promo code Xanda13 at checkout to save a bunch of money on anything that you see that we're going to install today. I've never seen something so fragile come so heavily packaged. I mean, it's really impressive. Also stick around to the end of the video because at the very end, we have one more thing that we're going to install to finish off the interior of my 2019 Ford Mustang that I think is just going to... Okay, so what we're talking about, love the carbon look, but it doesn't match any of the rest of the interior in our car. So we had that sticker stuff. We peeled up that side because it was actually coming up. So we're like right here on the edges. I don't know if you can see this. It's already starting to like peel up. But anyway, so we're gonna peel this up because this is going away. This I'll probably leave for the time being until the Carbon Core uh, updates their website and adds these. They are updating their website like constantly, always adding new product. I love this stuff to death and I've been on like this carbon kick here lately. But anyway, I digress. Let's show you the product, I'll show you how good it is. So what we have here is full dash kit. We can... Let's just pick up a piece. This stuff is good. It, it is an overlay but you got the 3M tape on the back, but I'm gonna say that it's, I've already test fit all of the pieces and it's like they use like CAD data or something like that to make them. You won't be able to see any seams or any gaps or anything like that. It's also affordable, but like I said, promo code Xander13 at checkout, when you order this stuff, save some more money. I'm gonna show you how well this fits, for example, into the car. All right, so for example, we still have the tape on the back, so, if we see any gap whatsoever, that's what it's gonna be from, but it goes up underneath. Once it's actually down with the tape, I mean, we have, if I move it around, hopefully the camera can pick this up. I have about a millimeter of play. So like I was saying, yeah, about, here's my movement. If I go back and forth, really nothing at all. Like one millimeter maybe, but this is pretty much how it's going to look when it's actually down. You can see how thin this stuff is, which is a good thing, but look, you see it's real carbon. You got the 3M tape on the back and it's not oversized tape. It's it's good stuff. It's really thin. They want you to be as close to the, the uh, material, the stock material on the car as possible. But when we put this on there, now when it's sticking, 
we're not going to see any panel gaps and now on the sides here pay attention like in here and here all around you don't see any gap like i don't even know this is crazy how they got it so good this stuff is completely worth the price i'm gonna grab the big piece and show you how well that fits before we start sticking things because it's always a good idea to test fit before you stick anything to the car anyway because then you're gonna have a nightmare pulling it off obviously so they make these in both for the performance pack and the non-performance pack but let's just show you how this looks before we start sticking things so let me get it all straightened up here it just simply slides over what i like too is that there's no gaps here i'll show you in a second it slides around the gauge and into position and then we come underneath everything and uh, yeah of course it's going to fit even better once we've actually got it sticked with the tape but this is this is it wow so like i was talking about as far as uh gaps how it actually tucks up like under the gauges and everything you can't see any of the existing dash behind there's no gaps you can't see any of the dash behind tucks up nicely you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between like a dash replacement and this simple cover it's so thin and it fits so well that you just you just can't tell i really want the car to feel a little bit more premium when i sit down inside of it. a little bit more special and i think that that's exactly what we're able to accomplish with something like this i know i sell like i sound like a salesperson at this point but I, listen i get nothing out of using my promo code you can use it or not santa 13 at checkout it's just simply for you to save money that's why i have like a, a list about this long of discount codes in the video descriptions if you did not know like vmr suspension for example check out the the video descriptions if you want to save money to a bunch of different websites but we're going to now start sticking and installing all the rest of this trim i think that we're going to be highly impressed and then like i said at the end of the video we're going to install one more thing that's going to finish off i think at this point finish off the interior and we will be good to go yeah i mean this stuff is it's, it's good stuff it's definitely good stuff so i love how thin they've got everything and how like tightly it just all fits i know i'm gonna say that like a million times in a video but i mean it's i'm really impressed i really am i've seen some of the other cheap stuff that's on the market and this is not it this is a lot more high quality so all right here we go we're days later at this point i wanted to give this dash kit and everything the test of time for about a week to see if we would have any hot spots come up or any kind of gaps show up or anything weird before i say hey this is worth it go buy it you know anything weird any raised sections here and there but i'm happy to say that we are pretty much good to go i'm very happy with the kit so i want to get in here and show you what it looks like after about a week and a half or so at this point of it just being on the car and the final upgrade that i said that we would do at the beginning is on the car i want to show you that why i picked that and i think that you guys are going to be impressed with how everything has turned out at this point i certainly am i think we're about this close to being complete with the interior minus the seats look at this look at this so there we go a gt350 go figure steering wheel all right so uh the internet turns out is good for something i was on mustang 6g and this is a 2020 gt350 takeoff uh you took it off as soon as you bought the car i guess these things retail for like 600 bucks i bought it for 250 shipped so i could honestly not pass up on the deal this is actually one of my favorites i mean the connecting points between you and the car are right here pretty much on your hands the seat that you sit in and what you grab and touch so these 350 wheels have uh, always been kind of the secret cheat code to feeling a little bit more connected with the car the 10 and 2 notches are a little bit more beefy but i went with the base steering wheel on purpose because the stitching obviously matches all of the rest of the trim okay now these have been around for years now so alcantara right feels good so we don't really need to talk too much about this steering wheel other than it's perfect and it looks good but Onto the carbon, everything has so far stood the test of time. We have, again, no panel gaps or anything showing. Everything over here looks good as well. So, looks mighty, mighty delicious. So, pretty cool that these are just, again, just like clip-ons. But yeah, after uh, this thing being in the sunlight, I would have expected to see maybe something pop up here or there. All I did was alcohol wipe uh, the existing dash behind, and everything is uh, flawless so far. So, it looks good. For me, at least, I mean, this is where 100% of the time I'm in pretty much in the car, right? You're not going to ride on the roof or on the trunk or on the hood. You're inside. So, I, me personally, I like to 
I like a fast car, yes, but I also like a little bit of luxury. And this solves that for me. Uh, it really does. So a little bit of comfort here with the wheel. Um, you know, again, we could do carbon or something else like that in the future if I find one that I like. But with the dash and everything, the way that everything looks all nice and shiny, it does not blind you, by the way, because I know that'll probably come up. Somebody's going to ask. And that is important. That is something that uh, we need to talk about because we got to tell the truth, right? Um, is that everything looks like an OEM fit as far as I can tell so far. It's been on the car for almost two weeks now. I'm uh, very, very happy with it. So that's the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. You found it informative and fun. Don't forget my message at the beginning of the video. Spread the good word. But if you're looking for an interior dress up, count on the Carbon Core. Dot com check them out use promo code xander13 guys i'm not really i'm not getting commission out of this so it does nothing for me if you use my code or not it just simply it simply just helps you out so anyway go check them out and explore what they have on their website and get ready for more content coming soon i'll see you guys next video goodbye vastly different than the way it did before just a little bit here and there not overdone and this is like one of my favorite things but looks good steering wheel I really really enjoy holding on to this thing when we drive this thing is so crazy I love it I mean these wheels have been around forever this is like the best kept secret for aftermarket because it's still OEM but you get that that nice uh, that nice Alcantara soft feel feels nice and rich in your hand I like it.